most of us do a squat and also be able to hold a stick above your head. It's a challenging exercise. Great for those people who are like doing things like Olympic lifts, that sort of thing, where you train, where you train, where you train shoulder blades to stay in the right position. But it's a really good overall exercise. So what we do is we actually start with the gym stick in the yoga position. So we begin with the elbows underneath. And so the first exercise is relatively easy. So you're going to bend your knees and stand up. Whenever you're doing a squat, think about keeping your weight in the centre of your foot. Not sit back in your heels like a power lifter because it makes you use your back a lot more. And you don't want your heels coming off the floor so the weight shifts right falls into your knees. You want to balance so that at the bottom of the squat, ideally, the angle of your shin is similar to the angle of your torso. Yeah. So you have to bend your knees. You know, so you want to avoid just tipping forwards from the hips. So in this exercise, we also look at where the stick is going. So the trajectory of the end of the stick should be in a straight line up and down. So you want to avoid rocking it forwards and coming up, rocking it forwards and coming up. You want to see if you can keep that alignment of the stick going straight and down. So using a mirror is really effective with this. So we do around about 16 repetitions of that in gym stick class. Then the next level, the next challenge, is to take some of the tension off or take it all off Hands are really wide, so I'm going towards the end of the thigh, and the arms go up. Now, this becomes a lot more challenging because we're trying to do exactly the same thing with the arms. We're trying to keep the stick going straight up, straight down, and avoiding this sort of action with your torso. Yeah? So this is why it's really effective for people who want to do like Olympic lifts because it really helps with getting the arms in the right position if you're doing like weight right training lifts. So straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. After that, shoulder break to get the shoulders a little bit rest, so they tend to have to work a little bit with that exercise. And then we add some rotation. So starting off with the stick above the head, dropping down, straight up, and rotate to one side. Dropping down, straight up, and rotate to the same side. In a gym stick class, we do three exercises that progressively get harder, 30 seconds each, and then we repeat those three exercises. So in a regular gymnastic class, we would then go back to yoga, then do the straight arm line, and the third exercise will be rotating the opposite way. So we do the three exercises twice. Really, really cool exercise for getting the abdominals to activate. And you want to make sure that you're rotating from the waist as much as possible, rather than the whole lower body turning with you. So a common error is people move their hips and move their feet, move their knees. You want to try and rotate from the waist. Yep, so the hips move slightly, but not a lot. So that means that you're not going to turn all the way around. Really great exercise. People want to strengthen up their upper body, as well as get that connection with the rhomboids at the back. And also learn how to squat correctly again. That's this week's gymnastic tip.